All right. June 20th, 2020. This is a vid about how atheist groups have almost zero connection with the words reason, uh, truth, uh, intellect, honest intellectual inquiry. It's all about uh, socially permissive, abusively permissive leftism and socialism largely. Now, with regard to the one-off situation with, well, what was his name? I think it was David Silverman, a previous operator of uh, American Atheist. Then he got booted out for... got booted out for me too reasons anyway somebody silverman i was gonna say ron silverman i think that's an actor i think it was david silverman anyway um american atheist he got booted i think for me too reasons but one key thing i remember about his commentaries this silverman guy is that um while he was part of that group his main interest in that group was um, basically uh, sex orgies, or maybe I should say wank orgies, because the word sex really only means inherently reproductive activities, and um, so wank part, wank, wank orgies. I was thinking, hmm, that's interesting. This guy, not exactly a family man, right? Not exactly a family man. <laughs> American atheist. Not exactly a family man. <laughs> That's the tip of the fucking iceberg. <laughs> so, with regard to anti-family, the anti-family stance of atheist groups, you know, uh, unless you're a truly socially conservative atheist group, one, uh, one out of a million, then you're basically worthless. But, uh, anyway, so American atheists, zero interest in truth and reason. Um, the, uh, Freedom from Religion Foundation, zero interest in, uh, true human nature, true evolved human nature and how religions couch evolved morality. Uh, the, a uh, previ- uh, uh, now gone now gone group called uh, Salt Lake Valley Atheists that I was a member of for several years and they changed their name from Utah Atheists after a tranny freak Unitarian Universalist tranny freak hijacked their name Salt Lake Valley Atheists zero interest in truth and reason and also they uh, as i mentioned in previous vids booted a uh, they booted a uh, or they they didn't want to join with another atheist group atheists of utah before it became before the atheist of utah, atheist of utah atheists of Utah got hijacked. They didn't want to join with them because the atheist of Utah president had a pro-life girlfriend that was made it off limits for joining. So, you know, uh, and the, and on, I spent 11 years on Facebook debating people, debating leftists, debating atheists, debating humanists. I mean, debating, discussing. First you start with a discussion and then it goes into a debate and then eventually it gets to be a pile-on. 
Um, so regard, with regard to Atheists of Utah, there was the president, uh, Dan Ellis, Dan Ellis, president, uh, uh, after uh, Ross Anderson left with his pro-life atheist girlfriend, left for Reno. Dan Ellis, a, a president of Atheists of Utah. Uh, during the transition phase from normal human uh, involvement with the club to, to LGBTQ PZ freak ownership of the club, transition phase, uh, Dan Ellis on Facebook basically shit canned me when I came out as someone who liked Duck Dynasty. Dan Ellis, wherever you are. Uh, fuck you, Dan Ellis. Fuck you, Dan Ellis. And fuck Atheists of Utah. So, uh, Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Um, I love Duck Dynasty. And just because they believe in their God, more power to them. More power to them. That helps them live a, a life which values life. More power to them. More power to the Duck Dynasty people. More power to the flyover people. And screw the... the abusively permissive. So... There's that, Atheists of Utah now, plus uh, Atheists of Utah, basically, you know, not only the shit canning from Dan Ellis on Facebook, banning, blocking and banning of me, uh, you know, um, when I came out as a supporter of Duck Dynasty, Duck Commander, hey Duck Commander guys, if you ever hear this vid, I support your work and your, and your social views 100%. More power to you. More power to you. Um, but after after they shit after Dan Ellis shit can me, that club turned into absolutely just no, nothing more than a faggy fag social club. And uh, after it kind of made that mostly final transition, you know, my kids and family, my kid, one kid at the, at the time initially wasn't welcome at their little parties because it was just a faggy fag party, you know? Faggy fag, faggy fag social club by any other name is still just a faggy fag social club. So who's in favor of reason? Who's in favor of honesty? Who's in favor of free inquiry? It's not, ath not atheist clubs unless they're a, a club which values social uh, conservatism, evolved social conservatism. <sighs> Who gives a fuck whether a God exists or not? Yeah, they don't exist literally. Who gives a fuck? What matters is people believe in them for evolutionary reasons and religion is an evolutionary process which couches both good and bad evolved morality. Okay, let's amplify the good morality and quell the bad. Okay, we got another, got another hiker. So I'm gonna pull off to the side while they pass. Okay. Mm -mm.
a little pause while we wait. Hi. Okay. I guess they were talking about the worthless company of Google. Anyway, uh, atheists of Utah, zero interest in truth, reason, uh, true science, free inquiry, freedom of speech, zero interest in any of those things. And and, uh, Dan Ellis, wherever you are, fuck, go fuck yourself. Um, Next, we have the Atheist Community of Austin. Atheist Community of Austin. Uh, And Matt Dillahunty. Matt Dillahunty. A a pig. A pig moron. Who's also not interested in free speech, free inquiry. Reactionary leftist. More hikers. Hi. Okay. Um, atheist community of Austin. When I lived, when I lived in Austin, uh, they invited a preacher to speak at one of the meetings and they treated the man like absolute crap uh, and then uh, their weekly shows just apology for social permissiveness apology for postmodernism a dumb shittery with regard to the true nature of humans it's all one way it's just more broadcasting of their own views not not reality atheist community of Austin has zero interest in reality Matt Dilettanti is a bad asshole Christopher Hitchens was more of a good asshole but Matt Dilettanti is a bad asshole not very not very valuable his debates are just kind of mental ma- mental masturbation for his own self-aggrandizement, but not much else. He's basically a piece of shit, worthless piece of shit asshole, Matt Dillahunty. Hello, Matt Dillahunty, can you hear me? You're a worthless piece of shit asshole. Cookie cutter, leftist atheist. Then there's humanist groups. Humanist groups, seas of gray hair in Portland and in Utah. I visited the eighth humanist groups. In Portland, I visited one, oh man, like 300 people there at this big meeting. 300, 400. A sea of gray hair. A sea of gray hair with like, I don't know, 10 children for the Sunday, the Sunday meeting. I don't know, let's see, I don't know, five, five or ten children who they shuffled off to some upstairs meeting room. Five or ten children who they shuffled off some upstairs meeting room. This humanist club in Portland. So that's the kind of ratio to life versus death. Like ten to three hundred. <laughs> that's the, that's the, uh, the fruitfulness level of uh, your average humanist group. Not really humanist. It's anti-humanist. Okay. Uh, Anti-humanist. So. Okay. 
more hikers. Uh, have a little pause. Hi. And the Unitarian Universalist Church. Uh, they're basically very denialist with regard to Islam. They're Islamophilic. They deny the abuses of Muhammad. I got my another hiker. Trying to finish up this bit too. Here in a minute. Hi. Uh. Unitarian Universalist Dumpsitch Dumpshit Church in, in which a number of humanist groups branch off from up and meet and also which uh, the feminist the denialist anti-life feminist groups like now branch off from Unitarian Universalists a, a, a festering cesspool of denialist leftism for the virus. Hi. Unitarian Universalism is a cesspool of leftist dumb shittery with regard to Islam, they lie to their kids and adults about how Muhammad was an advocate for social justice and women's rights. Man, when I was a member of two Unitarian Universalist churches, that's the bullshit I heard. So, and then anti-life feminism branching off from that, the LGBTQ PZ Stonewall anti-life enablement, postmodernist bullshit. Unitarian Universalism is a key enemy. UUism is an enemy to free speech and free thought and free inquiry in more ways than one. So. That's the situation. I ain't going up more. I'm going to wait here. For these people. <sighs> so anyway, that's the situation with atheist clubs. So with atheist clubs 
and with leftist social groups. Um, you know, I would like to found my own socially conservative atheist group, a Christian atheist alliance. How about that? But can't do it while the virus stuff is going. And also you have to deal with the fact that leftists uh, operated tech companies, big tech, will shit can your ass if they detect that you're against their their anti-life lies. And the anti-life lies of the left are creeping into the courts. But fuck the courts. Fuck them. Fuck the courts. Fuck all the anti-life people. And celebrate the the flyover pro-life people. I stand with the flyover pro-life people. Hey, wherever you are, the Duck Dynasty people, the rural people, the farmers, the ranchers, anybody with <coughs> four, four or more kids with a stable family, I, I stand with you. Regardless of your literal belief in a God or not, I stand with you. I stand with you. 100%. So, everyone should stand with with us, with you, with us. Give the gift of life, the greatest gift you can ever give. That's what the left will rob you of. The cultural left, the political left, the social permissives, even the social permit, the fiscally conservative social permissives will rob, will rob you of it also. You know, Dave Rubin, Gad Sad, maybe even Candace Owens to some extent, these people don't talk out enough, about enough about social issues. You know, they talk about fiscal, but they don't, they are milk toast or denialist with regard to social issues. Celebrate life, pro life. Margaret Sanger was a horrid racist eugenicist. The birth control pill is uh, something which humans are not prepared in any way to deal with in a healthy way. So now that we can choose, lean toward having more kids, not less. Uh, children absolutely need for their best well-being a man and wife couple. Biological man, biological woman, also known as a man and woman. Gender is not changeable in the human animal. Tranny freaks are just... Uh, den gender dysphoric chumps who've been lied to and who lie to themselves. The LGBTQPZ project is a death cult. The Stonewall project. Who's going to tell you that? Is Dr. Sad? Is Dr. Sad going to tell you that in one of his broadcasts? Dave Rubin, Candace Owens, Charlie Kirk. Are they going to mention any of that? Do you, is the only person you can go to is Owen Benjamin? Owen Benjamin, who kind of went off the rails into moon landing den denialism. You know, the, the racist, the anti-miscegenation, anti-interracial marriage Racist Stefan Molyneux and racist Nick Fuentes. Are they the people you have to go to? You know. The thing the racists don't realize is all humans can rise up uh, through the power of evolution with selection. Including people whose ancestors were selected for more for being able to play NBA uh, football and NFL, NBA basketball and NFL football, you know, people who can jump, um, yeah, their kids, you know, all, everyone's kids are going to be uh, pushed toward technical excellence, technical excellence, and that's fine, let everyone rise, and let people be judged by, judged by, the, con by, the, col by the content of the character instead of by the color of their skin, the dream of Martin Luther King, which the, the social and political left have utterly shit-canned, the wasteful dumb shits of Antifa, 
the terrorist group Black Lives Matter. All lives matter, not just black lives. Um, so, anyway, the dreams of Martin Luther King, shit canned by the left. And uh, they'd be shit canned by your average atheist group now. So, that's the situation. Okay.